how to use Microsoft OneNote for project management. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can use Microsoft OneNote for project management. OneNote is often thought of as just a tool that can be used for note taking, but it is so much more. It can be easily integrated into any of your other Microsoft 365 applications and can be used as a powerful project management tool. So let's get started. To access OneNote, simply head on over to Microsoft 365 and then go into apps on the left. From here, you can select your application of OneNote. Once you open up OneNote, you will be led to a blank space of your OneNote account. So you can just click on no thanks, give me a blank notebook, and you can proceed with a blank notebook on Microsoft 365. Now, although Microsoft 365 markets this as something that is just a notebook, it can easily be used as a project manager because it has all the capabilities of a project manager. So first I'm going to alter my account over here. I don't want to use this particular account for this. So for that purpose, I'm going to open up OneNote with a different email address simply because one is linked to school. So we're going to have to create a new section over here and I'm just going to name this my project MGT. Now on the left, you will see your notebook that is created. You can click on more notebooks to create a further notebook. You can see this is the notebook that was created for me and then it will describe the specific location. And within a notebook on the left, you can create several different pages and sections. On the left, you will have two options. Either you can add sections or add pages. One section can have multiple different pages and you can title them accordingly. Now, the way that we're going to build this is that we're going to build a simple project manager within our section. So click on add page and you're going to build your first page. You're going to name this your project overview because for any type of project, you're going to have the basic details and you want them to be available for all of your members to view. So you can easily add, you know, descriptions, due dates, and participants, client, revenue, all of that stuff over here. You're going to obviously add more details and you can do that in the form of a table or you can leave it as a simple list that depends on your personal preference. Once you have a project overview page, you can save it as a template as well. On the top right, you have a ribbon and a classic ribbon and a simplified ribbon. Then you can also draw, insert, and you know, make tables. You can add office add-ons, record, and do more. Now I like to click on add page and then I like to build a simple section which allows us to manage our tasks. So this is going to be either categorized based upon monthly, you know, monthly objectives. So let's say I'm going to set this up for November and I would just title the page the specific month that the things within need to be completed. Now on the left, you have the option to add loop components and you can add a checklist and you even have a section called templates and you have a task list or a Kanban board. We have multiple different variations on what you can add. I'm going to go into insert on the top and then go into loop components and we're going to select a Kanban board. Now, once you select a Kanban board, it's going to function completely as your regular task manager would. So you can extend the margins like so to make it easier to navigate. And once you do that, you're going to add the title. So for example, this is going to be my operations related board, and I would add all of the operations related tasks here, and you can even segregate different pages. So I can build a November page for operations, or I can build pages based upon only the categories. So let's say I have these categories over here. I can just remove that from there. Then below that, we have default list. We have a to do in progress on hold and done list. Let's say for us, I don't want to add anything on hold. So I'm going to delete that grouping. And I only have three types of groupings that can be done. Either it's in the to-do list, either it's in progress or it's done. 
Now over here, you're just going to type in your task as you regularly would. For example, we have to hire a new teacher's assistant. Once you do that, you can add a work owner. You can also select a particular due date. So when is this meant to be completed? You can even open the task in detail and you can set up details such as sub items. So for hiring a new teacher's assistant, we have to publish a LinkedIn ad. Then we have to filter candidates and we have to interview them. Then we have to filter top three and we have to hire like so. And just like that, we have added this little subtask or a list. You can even do this in a form of a checklist. Checklists can be used alternatively. And then you have a notes section and you can add further details by adding your own custom fields. This can include text-based fields, number-based fields, date, person, vote, or different types of labels. You can go into labels and you can set up different label grouping. Now I like to label things such as priority and within my priority I'm going to add high, low, and then I like to add the option of stuck over here instead of creating a separate group for that. Once you've done that your task is now created and you can move it or any person that is assigned a task can move it into the designated group. You will see on the top you have different views such as table views and board views. I prefer a board view. And you can group them by the stage, you can sort them, filter them, as well as create new rules for your boards. You can also export this entire project manager onto an Excel sheet. You also have the option to copy this component. Now you can add this into multiple different pages within your project manager on OneNote, and you can see who has access. So anyone within your organization is going to have access for this particular board that is added within this OneNote notebook. The way that you share access is by going ahead and opening your specific section or notebook. And on the top right, you have the option to share. Now you can copy the link to your notebook or share your entire notebook. But before you do that, click on manage access to manage the type of access that you are granting to each individual within the workspace. So you can click on links and create a new link. And for example, if there's any person you want to add, you can add them here and you can add a message and you can customize their permission. So anyone with the link or people within your specific organization or people with existing access or people that you can choose. And then you can actually formalize your specific permissions if you want them to have editing permissions or if you want them to only have viewership permissions. Click on apply to apply those permissions and you can share this with the rest of your team. Not only that, but you have visual tools that allow you to draw and these allow you to actually make your project manager a bit more visual and you can actually have you know a lot more liberty with your project manager when you're using a tool that has drawing as well as kanban and complete task manager project manager facilities so i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe